Good evening. Demand for services at Plymouth Stereford Hospital is outstripping capacity, according to the Trust's chief executive. A report out today says the Trust has not made enough progress since the last inspection. The Care Quality Commission praised the maternity department but said there's more work to do on waiting times and cancelled operations. Let's take you to Sam Blackledge. He is live outside Stereford for us tonight. Sam, what's been the reaction to this report today? Yeah, well, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest, John T. Uh, managers here are very pleased with some aspects of this report. Some departments have made real progress, but they admit there is still a lot of work to be done uh, before they can reach that standard of good they're currently at requires improvement. Baby Anastasia was born in the early hours of Sunday morning. She arrived five days early by emergency caesarean section and her proud parents say the care they received could not have been better. The lady on the phone said to come straight on in, she'd be waiting for me, and she was. Um, I was quickly taken into triage, quickly assessed, and then given um, a bed on the ward. Um, so everything was done quickly and effectively. I didn't have to wait at all. Whenever I rang my buzzer for a yeah. midwife, they'd be it over in seconds. Loads of mixed feelings, obviously really, really nervous and bits of worried, but yeah, the staff were really good. And yeah, so when Kitkin went down for a, a, a C-section, that was quite, um, yeah, I was a bit worried. Terrifying. Really terrifying. <laughs> um, but no, we, they just knew exactly what they were doing and just approached it like a, just a walk in the park. When inspectors last visited in the summer, maternity was one of the areas falling short. Changes were made and today the Care Quality Commission published its latest report. The Trust has been told it must improve in four areas. Emergency services, medical care, surgery and diagnostic imaging. But critical care, maternity, children's services and outpatients are rated as good. It's a mixed picture, which reflects the day-to-day -day challenges facing those in charge. The hospital is feeling very busy um, at the moment, and it probably feels a little bit more like a mid-January than a mid-December. And we know right across our services, whether that's the emergency department, outpatients, planned operations, then we're in a very busy time at the moment. Our staff have responded incredibly well to those pressures but as the CQC report identifies, the demand for our services is outstripping our capacity. And while we're doing everything we can to meet all of those demands, it's not always possible to do so. Earlier this week, a discharge lounge was opened in order to ease the pressure. When that's up and running completely, we should be seeing between 40 and 60 patients go through there every day. That will really help free up some beds on the wards. We're working with our partners across health and care to make sure that those patients who are considered fit to leave the hospital are able to do so in a really timely way. Patient group Health Watch is concerned that this high level of demand is becoming the new normal. The hospital's been operating on quite a, or under quite a lot of pressure um, throughout the year since last winter and they, they've never really seen to have come out of that. One thing that patients do tell us is once they're in to Dereford, the service they get from a treatment and care perspective is generally rated as good. Um, and the staff attitudes are also good. So I think the staff working under immense pressure are, are seem to be coping quite well. So good points and bad points for the Health Trust here to take on board. Well, earlier we spoke to the Care Quality Commission and they told us the aim should be to take Dereford from that requires improvement to a rating of good. Uh, and they said the issue of bed blocking and releasing people from hospital is a key priority. So there's always a little bit more that can be done um, and being requires improvement is a clear message that work still needs to be done. Um, they, they, every organisation we would like to see being good. The journey to good will take, I suppose, in a way as long as it takes. Um, we would hope that by this time next year we would see more progress and more focus. Now the key section of this report that came out today is the line where it says demand for services is outstripping capacity. What that basically means is there are a lot more people turning up to this place trying to get in, lots of ambulance queued at, ambulances queued outside and that puts an increasing amount of pressure on the hospital. The government has promised more money but in the short term there really are no easy answers. Sam Blackledge at Dereford Hospital for us tonight, thank you very much indeed.